Tomorrow, let's check in with our U.S. correspondent, Sherwin Brass. Peace, Sherwin. A very good afternoon to you. What a heated race to these polls. Endless memes, plagiarizing allegations, sex scandals, email scandals, sleepless campaigning across all states. It's D-Day tomorrow. What is the atmosphere like there? Well, it's tense. Uh, a lot of people are fatigued. Alicia, this has been a long process. I mean, if we think back to you, uh, the day Hillary Clinton announced in April of 2015, Donald Trump in July of 2015, this has been a very, very long process. And we can now, for the first time, literally see the finish line before us. But critically, as you mentioned in that piece, this is an, an election that comes down to the swing states. This is about those states that sometimes go Democrat, they sometimes go Republican. The North Carolina, as you mentioned, Pennsylvania, they've been camped out in there. Florida, who can forget in 2000. Uh, that that uh, cliffhanger of an election between George W. Bush and uh, then Vice President Al Gore. Al Gore winning the popular vote in that election, Alicia, uh, but George Bush triumphing uh, by winning Florida. So swing states are very, very important in terms of winning enough votes to win the Electoral College that essentially uh, puts uh, someone into the White House. Mm, show and look at this stage. Uh, what is the duty of the candidates now? Just Is it just to sit back and anxiously await the poll results? We know that uh, Donald Trump has already crowd foul play in how the polls are going to be rigged for him to lose. What are they up to today? Well, they're in those swing states. I mean, the final election rallies will be held tonight. They are fi making their final closing arguments to the American people. You'll have Hillary Clinton with, with a quite a star-studded lineup uh, at her final event in Philadelphia uh, tonight. She'll be joined by the likes of Bruce Springsteen, Bon Jovi, uh, Michelle Obama, and President Barack Obama will also put in an appearance there. So that just shows you how the first family views this election. They see that it's a close race, and they're giving everything to, 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 to who he certainly wants to be his successor in the White House. Donald Trump and his, his running mate, Mike Pence, and I, I believe the Trump children will all be in North Carolina uh, tonight to make their closing argument. Yeah, these are the states that are going to determine the outcome. And what I can tell you, there's been early voting, Alicia, in this election for days already. Uh, it closed yesterday, Sunday. And what the trend we are beginning to see is a surge in the Latino vote, particularly in states like Florida. Democratic numbers suggest that there's been an increase in Latino votes in early voting by an increase of over 140% mm. based on, on 2012 numbers. We are seeing a huge surge in the Latino vote in Nevada. These are two crucial states that Donald Trump must win if he's going to have a chance at the White House. He has a much difficult path to the White House than his Democratic opponent. And with the Latino numbers in voting that we are seeing in early voting, this could spell doom for the Republican campaign, given the things he has said about Latinos and certain demographic, minority demographics in this country. This is not good news for the Trump campaign. Mm. Very interesting indeed. Just a day before the polls there are uh, showing. Now, we've seen quite uh, divided Americans when it comes to who they'll vote for. Do tell us, what are the voters saying? Who are they putting their vital X sign next to? Can we expect history to be made tomorrow or the gap is slowly closing between these two hopefuls? As you said, the Latino vote just picked up. Well, you know, every other day there's a new poll that comes out. And the consistent thing that we have seen throughout this process is that Hillary Clinton has maintained a lead in crucial states. She's on the cusp in crucial states, but nationally she has maintained between at least, at the very minimum, a 3 to 6% lead. Before the FBI announced that they were reopening the, uh, the email investigation 11 days ago, Hillary Clinton had an 11-point advantage in some of the national polls. That's good news for the Clinton campaign. In addition to the poll numbers that slightly favor her at this point, the Democratic Party is notorious for having an excellent get-out-the-vote uh, mobilization network. You know, analysts say the, the conversation now, Alicia, has shifted from an argument of persuasion, you know, to persuade people to vote for you, to an argument of mobilization. And that's where the Democrats have an advantage. They know how to get people to the polls. Let's see if they can do this again, because that's going to be a crucial factor if we are to make history on, on, on by Wednesday morning. Uh, with the first woman president of the United States. Just very quick confirmation, uh, 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 Sherwin. I know you mentioned Bon Jovi there. We know that Hillary brought out the big guns, bringing out Beyonce and Jay-Z, yeah. just to name a few, to the final eve of campaigning, showing that she's quite diverse and wide-reaching. But tell us now, what has been the final decision when it comes to Clinton's email saga? And also, what's the last word on Trump's taxes? 
I mean, she really has brought out the celebrities, hasn't she? I'll answer your question, but she's literally had Beyonce. She's been hanging out with Jay-Z, J-Lo, uh, Stevie Wonder. I mentioned Bruce Springsteen, Bon Jovi. Trump was actually complaining at one of these events earlier this week that, you know, he, he still gets good big crowds, but he doesn't bring out celebrities. He's the only one that shows up. In addition to that, the FBI decision yesterday confirming that the decision not to press criminal charges, that there's no criminality in her use of, of, of a private email server uh, at her home while she was Secretary of State, that decision from July stands despite whatever announcement was made 11 days ago. Trump's taxes, your guess is as good as mine. Mm, thank you so much for that update. We'll touch base definitely with you tomorrow. That is Sherwin Bryce Peace on the line to us from New York with a live update on the U.S. polls which are taking place tomorrow. It's Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton. We're going to have all those updates here on SABC News tomorrow. It's time for your...